Damn. Look at Piper looking so pretty. <laughs> just, uh, I just want to get going. It's cold. It is 46 degrees. Are you cold, Kylie? Yeah. yeah. Once we get walking. Well, it actually warmed up a little bit. Yes, I'm a little toasty right now. I'm not toasty, but I'm warmed up. I really don't need the hood anymore. I forgot I'm young. I forgot not. That, that, that boat has sailed. <laughs> uh, just go, Kylie. This is okay. Sorry. We were distracted by Piper waiting to see if she's going to take off running after the car. Because she's Kylie, a herder. Kylie can't hold on as good. <laughs> she can really tug. But anyway. anyway, Denise has to bring Kylie to her consult for her wisdom teeth. Because Kylie wants to get them out. She's, she's determined. She doesn't it's, realize. It's the pain and all that she's going to go through. She just loves that kind of stuff. And the attention, I think. I don't know. I was a, a full-grown adult when I got mine out. And Denise had brought me and they told me I had to watch a video first. And she told the lady behind the counter, don't show her the video because she won't stay. Exactly. I remember that too. And they said, well, she has to watch the video. And Denise said, she won't be staying. Mm -hmm. And so we watched the video. And then I came out of the video and I said, I'd like to reschedule my appointment. Mm -hmm. But I did eventually get them out. Yeah, and I did mine. I think when I was 18, I would say my guess, and I was awake. I didn't have, and I went to a regular dentist. dentist. I went to an oral surgeon. <laughs> it wasn't a back then like, it was like and it was that crappy dentist that did everything wrong. Sergeant, yeah, yes, he was a bad dentist. But I took a bite of bread and my tooth broke in half mm -hmm. because he kept building it up, and building it up, and not with the right stuff. Mm -hmm. So anyway, okay, well, two miles, we did it. Well, good morning. Today is Thursday, October 8th. It's a chilly one. When we started our walk, it was like 46 degrees. I think it's probably around 50 right now, but it's still a little chilly. <clears throat> but we do have a birthday today. Today is Susan, Ra Susan Radar, who is Sparkling Susan. Today's her birthday. Smack Vision gave her that nickname. I think it was Giggles that did it. Anyway. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Sparkling Susan, happy birthday to you, cha cha cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday. Oh, Giggles was on Smack Vision's, uh, uh, is Kate, and her real name is Kate, but I always called her Giggles because she was always giggling. But oh my gosh, she's doing really, really good. She's lost like 52 pounds, I think, in the last four months. She's like kicking butt. She's doing really good. I'm really proud of her. I'm really proud of my giggles. So, and then uh, Ange went to the doctor's the other day, and she's, according to the doctor, within 10 pounds of her goal. So that's pretty good, although she wants to lose, I think she said, 18 more pounds. So, <clears throat> she's my inspiration, too. There's so many people out there that just inspire me so much. But uh, this week I'm, I'm learning to stop kicking myself so much I mean it's it's natural that you're gonna look back and think what you did wrong and stuff but I can't change the past I can learn from it and just move on and you know I made mistakes I've made a lot of mistakes over the last four years I've learned a lot too and I think that as long as we keep the process of learning from our mistakes we're gonna we're gonna achieve our goals we really are and um, I know a lot of us are struggling right now, and I, I just don't, I don't know, I don't know if it's the change of the seasons or, or what, I don't know what it is, but a lot of us are struggling. And all I can say to us is, be strong, keep trying, don't give up, because uh, if you give up, you're just going to end up back where you were. You just, and I know for myself, I don't ever want to see that number again. Never, never, never. And even when I go back up into the next set of digits, or decades, or whatever you want to call it, I get discouraged. I really get discouraged. And uh, I just you know, kind of kick myself and say, you know, how does that phrase get kick yourself? How can you, you can't really kick yourself. You really can't. I don't know. I, even the most limber person I know can't kick themselves. I mean, you can kick your feet and stuff like that, but you can't kick yourself in the butt. But if you do, if anybody's got a video of somebody kicking themselves in the butt, well, share me, the, give me the link, share the link with me because I'd like to see somebody that's that ambidextrous that they can do that. <laughs> that would be, I mean, I know there's double jointed people and things like that that they can do so many things with their body that it's like unbelievable. Um, never has, never will. 
not me. But uh, anyway, I just um, think I'm going to make spaghetti for dinner tonight. I'm just... See, now the gym's only working three days a week. And i got to start cooking again for the two of us. And although during the pandemic I really enjoyed that we had our meals together and sitting down and cooking and that. And, but uh, when he went back to work, I got caught back into the old habit of just making my own quick meals. Like yesterday, with the steak left over and just putting the corn on the cob and reheating that rice that I made the last time. I have to tell you, it does reheat it really nice in the microwave. I just put like maybe a tablespoon of butter, or butter, tablespoon of water uh, in it, on top of it, just to kind of give it a little bit of moisture. And then uh, I, I do a third of a cup, and I think I put it in the microwave for like two minutes. I know if I had an air fryer, I could probably put it in the air fryer. It would probably heat up better. But I gave my air fryer to my daughter because I really wasn't, I'm not a fan of the air fryer. I know it's the rage. Everybody loves the air fryer. I don't love it. Christy calls me all the time. She'll say, you hear that? That's the air fryer. I love it. <laughs> so, she's, uh, I, if she makes it to Thanksgiving working at Boston Market, I'll be amazed because the people are really annoying her. It's just, and she has the advantage of this is not her permanent job. And uh, she goes home and sleeps with the boss because <laughs> her husband is the manager of the restaurant. But I don't know if I had told this story before, but some guy had come in and was ordering, was talking on the phone, and it was like the end of the night, and they were running out of food because um, during the pandemic, they're only allowed to order so much food because, you know, with costs and stuff like that, they're trying to keep their costs in check. And uh, <clears throat> so, um, just a side note, our last Denny's went out of business. So Denny's Grand Slam, no more in, in Macomb County. There's not, not one restaurant left. But anyway... So they're, you know, they're cutting back on the things that they have. So the guy comes in, he's talking on the phone, and he ordered a side of chicken. And then Christy said, we only have red skin potatoes and um, green beans. That's all we have. And uh, so then the guy was talking on the phone, and he says, I'll have uh, macaroni and cheese and red skin potatoes. And Christy said, I'm sorry, sir, but we only have mashed potatoes and green beans. Do you want doubles of mashed potatoes or double of green beans, or do you just want green beans and mashed potatoes? And he looks and he said, well, then I'll have um, some um, peas and um, some apples. And she said, sir, we only have mashed potatoes and green beans. That's all we have. And so then he looks, still talking on the phone. And so then he goes, well, what other sides do you have between, besides green beans and mashed potatoes? Christy just looked at the next person in line and went, next! <laughs> and the guy got mad and left. It was like, I can't give you something I don't have. You know, it's like, he was just a... And then, this past week, the guy came in, and he was just, like, obnoxious to her because, they, you know, they, they were running out of sides again, and they didn't have the sides that he wanted and that. And so then when it came time to ring up his order, he was, like, 35 cents short. And Christy said, like any other customer, she would have just said okay don't worry about the 35 cents she says but he had been so obnoxious and treated her so poorly that she was going to make him come up with the 35 cents and he kept saying well I don't have 35 cents and she says well then I'm sorry you can't have this meal because you're short 35 cents and nobody in line would give him the 35 cents now how many of us like if I've seen somebody in front of me in line that was short any money I've always here I got it how much is it you know like and I'll just pay the difference Nobody in line was offering the 35 cents. So that gives you a clue how obnoxious the man had been. And he just kept going on and on and on. And he's like, you know, it's only 35 cents. And she says, well, it's 35 cents you don't have. And they were going back and forth. And uh, finally he went and he took the tip jar, because there's a tip jar there, and tipped it over and pulled out 35 cents. And she said, excuse me, sir, that's not your money. And he says, well, that's for everybody to grab. And she said, no. And then she showed him the big sign on it, tips. She says, that's my money. That's not your money. That's my money, and I'm not giving you 35 cents. And so he said, well, what am I supposed to do? And she says, well, unless you can borrow it from somebody or you got some change in your car, I don't know what to tell you. And so he got mad and he left. But then he came back with the 35 cents. And of course he says, well, I was feeling really bad that, you know, it was only 35 cents. She says, but then when he's trying to take my tip money and then yelling at me and nobody offered him any money, and I go, I wouldn't feel guilty about it. So she says, well, I really didn't. <laughs> so, but, she said, and the guy should have thought of something. She said, because I wasn't going to offer it, because we're not allowed to offer it. 
is like he old enough he looked old enough that he could have qualified for senior discount which would have gave him the 35 cents she's but i wasn't going to offer that to him when he was being so obnoxious because the next person in line was like just about the same age and i said would you like the senior discount and the guy just kind of smiled and i gave him the senior discount and he saved like like a dollar or something so the guy would have had enough money but anyway that's my version of a story <laughs> i like to tell at least one or two stories a week um I don't have any plans. My brother might come over. My brother Michael might come over this afternoon um, to uh, pick up his gun that Mike, that Jim sighted in for him because uh, my brother's having surgery tomorrow. He's having his, um, what do you call it, shoulder, his rotator cuff reattached or something. I don't know. So he's going for surgery tomorrow. He goes for his COVID test today. And then he said he's going to stop by to pick up his gun to see. He's hoping to be able to shoot in December. I don't think so, but anyway, we'll see. So, uh, if he comes, I'll try to get him on camera, but you never know with Michael. You just never know. So, I will talk to you guys uh, at breakfast. I haven't really decided, other than I think I'm going to have the, uh, what do you call it, the um, spaghetti for dinner. But other than that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll be surprised together. Is that a good sound that we can hear our food? Anyway, I'm going to have a bowl of Rice Krispies with a cup of tea and a banana and a hard-boiled egg. So today is Thursday, October 8th. I started my day with a tomato. <laughs> Boy, I got that on my mind, eh? Give myself a laugh. I was looking at tomatoes when I was filling out my thing, I guess. Anyway, the only way you're going to get results is if you stay consistent. It's a nine point breakfast, zero for my egg, banana, and tea. Five points for my cup of 2% milk and four points for a cup and a quarter of Rice Krispies, nine points. So I still have 14 points left. Still can't believe that, a tomato. I didn't start my day with a tomato. Okay, we're gonna have breakfast, or breakfast, we're gonna have lunch. Boy, I got all my words mixed up today. Anyway, we're, it's a six point lunch. Uh, one point for my two ounces of honey ham, three points for my three nan and bread, two points for my tablespoon of dip, zero for my tomato, cuke, berries, and my water. So I still have eight points left for dinner. There's my luncheon plate. I use the nan and stone fire dippers, uh, the deli fresh honey ham, and some spinach, artichoke, and parmesan de de uh, dip and spread. Now my question is, you see the expiration date was yesterday. I don't like eating things after expiration days, but I wanted some dip. Does this mean I'm gonna get sick? I hope not. And then my second question is, how come the closer I get to Wonderland, the hungrier I am? If you've been following me for years, you know I've only, only ate two meals. And this last month or two, I am always hungry. I don't understand. I'm eating enough protein, although I don't think I have protein on my plate. You know what, I think I'm gonna add a hard boiled egg. So I'm gonna add a hard boiled egg. But other than that, I can't figure it out. I have protein at every meal. Let me know what you think my problem is. Okay, I'm gonna add an egg, but I'm on the blue plan, so it's zero points. Okay, for dinner, we're gonna have some mustacholi, and I'm gonna have a glass of iced tea. Uh, six points for a half a cup of my sauce, three points for three quarter cups of the noodles, and zero for my iced tea, nine points. So I did is go it, one over. Is it fruitless looking for meatballs? Well, there might be some big chunks in there that I consider a meatball, but yeah, if you're looking for an actual meatball, you'll be searching high and low. Well, I have to tell you, I'm getting a little tiny tiny bit nervous about my weigh in this week because everybody I watched this week has had a gain everybody and even people that I don't watch don't have a YouTube channel I've seen on Facebook they had a gain oh. but I stayed on plan today I had um well I was one point over but I'm still within my um what do you call it blue dot so we'll see I was going to put some cheese I don't know if you saw that I had some um mozzarella cheese on the table but I had tasted a little bit before it's funny because I had just brought up at lunchtime about stuff with the expiration date 
but I tasted it and it tasted a little funny. So I, um, and not like a clown funny. It, it tasted funny. So I, I didn't, I didn't have any of that, which saved me on points. But I think it would have only been like one point, maybe two. So I would have still been within my points. Um, it's funny how before, when I was um, not trying to lose weight, I, or even like a year or two ago, when I really was just eating really sparsely, and um, I never really worried about expiration dates. I watched some show on, I think it was on the National Geographic channel, I think, well, one of the channels, and they had a thing like a Mythbuster type of thing, and saying that um, a lot of times, a lot of foods that they have expiration dates on them, you could still have them like well into the next century almost, <laughs> like a Twinkie. You can have a Twinkie even past the, the expiration date. But um, they say that it's, which I do believe, it's just a, um, a way to get you to buy the food quicker. So that you throw, you know, not that you throw food away, but you know, like you won't eat food that's expired until you go out and replace it with something else. Which does make sense to me because um, I was a little hesitant about eating that dip, but it didn't taste the least bit weird or anything. So I know it was still good. I know it's made with sour cream. No, it's made with Greek yogurt. But um, <clears throat> I worry about those things, little things like that. But see, now that um, I'm trying to eat really healthy and try to stretch my food budget and things like that, I'm freezing a lot more than I've ever done in the past. And um, I'm trying to eat stuff before it gets to its expiration date, but not being so stringent that I'm going to throw it away as soon as it reaches its uh, expiration date. Jim will drink milk ooh, like 10 days after the expiration date. No. I'm still of that now. I, I can't drink milk. Well, once the milk is open, it's a good thing Jim likes milk so much because once the milk is open, I will only drink it for a day because then after that, I think it gets a refrigerator taste or something, so I won't drink it until we open up another. I haven't been drinking as much milk as I used to in the past, but uh, and I definitely, definitely would, even if it was a brand new open carton and it was like was going to expire within three days, I wouldn't drink it. I know, I'm, I'm just weird. I'm just weird. I know that. But um, anyway, it always reminds me of like the different things the advertisers. When I was in high school, we had to read a book called The Hidden Persuaders, which was how they have like background music and subtle messages that get you to buy things. And like when you go into a grocery store, the bakery always smells so good and you can like drags you to that area. You know, different things like that to get you to buy things. You know, all the candy at the counter when you're first checking out, all the quick purchases. I know that even when I was working at uh, Montgomery Wards, um, if there was like clothes that I wanted to get rid of, not get rid of, but you know, sell them quicker because I wasn't going to replace them, I'd always put a rack right by the register and put like a sale price on it, mark it down a little bit because then people would buy it. I still got a profit out of it because it was above the cost of it. But, <clears throat> you know, you still can make... It's just amazing. Like when we would sell a shirt for $19.99, our cost when we bought the shirt was like $1.98. So anything you had above that was just a pure profit, which is how you got to run a business. I understand that. But so anyway, uh, the general consensus is that they don't, you guys don't mind me showing my pictures. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to show you a picture here of um, me at uh, Josh's birthday party when Josh was, he, Josh is 18 now, but this is Josh's 14th birthday on December, no, I take that back, June 26th of uh, 2016. So it was just before I was going to join Weight Watchers. I was still on my way going up the wrong way, gaining weight. But, um, no, June 25th. Take, no, wait a minute. Now I've got my birthdays mixed up. Sophia's is the 18th. Oliver's is the 25th. Josh's is the 26th. So, okay, um, you know the drill. Subscribe, comment, like, share. Stay safe. Talk to you guys later.